If you're looking to start your YouTube channel, organization is key. You have got to stay organized, otherwise you're going to go crazy. <laughs> My name is Jamar Diggs and I help people rank on YouTube so that they can start funneling problem aware traffic to their offers. By the end of this video, I am gonna show you my step-by-step -step process of how I plan out and organize my YouTube content in Airtable. So my YouTube planning process was a bit of a hodgepodge between all these different tools. And it drove me a little bit crazy because it was a little bit too organized for uh, my own good to where I was organizing things away <laughs> to where I couldn't really find it anymore. And so when I decided to move things to Airtable, it made it so much easier. Before using Airtable, I had everything organized inside Google Drive, which at first you would think, oh, that's great. That's actually pretty smart. Like you have a folder for everything and yeah, it was great until it became a little bit cumbersome <laughs> and a little bit um, annoying to where I would start losing episodes in Google Drive to where I started creating folders into folders and fo it just was too much. And so just to give you like a little bit of an idea, I have it up right now and it literally was like a folder for the episode and then inside the folder I had about eight other folders and each one had its own purpose. So each one had the script, the raw like file, the raw footage, the teasers, the final video, the transcriptions, the SEO brief that I would use to optimize everything, the email that I would send out to everyone and any graphics that would be attached to it, right? When I was starting to do a video, I would be like, oh my God, I have to make all these folders. I have to do all these things. There was no like step-by-step -step thing that I, it just, which is too overwhelming for me. And I realized that in the long run because like I started doing less videos. So it just became really, really overwhelming. And so while I was using Google Drive, I was also using Asana too. I was holding everything inside Asana, right? And so I realized that Asana is really great for project management. And we do use Asana whenever we're trying to manage like the tasks that happen for each video. But when we're planning the video and trying to organize the SEO strategy, strategy for the video and all that other stuff, we do it inside Airtable because Airtable is a database, right? So if we're trying to get an idea of like what keywords we need to be using, what, what keywords have we used in the past, what videos have we made in the past, it's very easy to look, to look inside Airtable to really see that at a bird's eye view. When it comes to something like Asana, it just became so overwhelming because we were misusing how Asana should be used. And so now we kind of kept it a little bit separate to where we create the plan for the YouTube videos inside of Airtable and then we manage the task tracking for whoever is, is responsible for each task um, inside of Asana. And that just keeps things so much easier because you're gonna see in a minute how there is a lot of stuff that we do to, to plan a YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you inside of my demo Airtable account just to give you an, an idea of how we use it so that you can have a really good idea of how you are going to be able to do the same thing. Now, this is a template inside Asana that I have that I also sell inside the regular Ring shop. So, so if you are interested um, in getting this um, in getting this template and the trainings associated to it, I would totally encourage you to go ahead and click the link down below by, at the end of uh, this video um, and go ahead and get that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started. Let's hop into our um, Airtable and let's get started. All right, so we are now inside of the YouTube Management Hub and I just wanna tell you that this has been a lifesaver for me because I just wanna show you how I used to organize my things. Like, like how I was telling you before, I would have the month here of the videos and then I would have all the videos in different um, folders, but then within the folder, you see all of these things. And so with the YouTube Management Hub, I am now able to <laughs> make it a lot shorter now. So I'm able to, let's go to September. I'm able to just have one episode for raw files and the finals. And that's so much easier for me. So let's dive into the um, management hub right now. So the management hub has like 
four sections in it. And so whenever I'm planning, say that I'm starting out my channel, right? So this, this area is really great just for um, understanding like what you actually have to have done, right? And so like having like your banner, your watermark, your scripting template, your upload defaults, all the good things are right here. But we're really here for the planning. And so this is where <laughs> the all the magic happens. I love it. So, so this is all um, demo information. So I don't want y'all to think that like this, the, the these keywords are actually getting this kind of stuff. But let's just pretend that I am like an Airtable expert right now, right? I'm not, but, like, but let's just pretend. And so I love this because the first place that I start is actually in the keyword section. And so this helps me have a mental note of all the keywords that I really want to rank for. Like, what do I want to be known for, right? So I really want to be known for Airtable reviews, right? I want to be known for Airtable content calendar, right? Maybe, um, maybe whenever people are talking about Airtable databases, I want to be known for that too, right? So I have all of this, these keywords that I really want to rank for. And then I also have the information that states what is the monthly search volume? So how many people are, are searching for this keyword every single month? Okay. And then as soon as I do an actual video on it, I can link it to this and then it will say which videos I have tied to this actual keyword, right? Because the more videos that you have on a keyword, you're able to, to dominate it. You see how this works? Now, um, let's get into this like posting production schedule tab, right? So this one looks like a really, really bad, like bad, overwhelming thing, but it isn't really because all you're doing is doing is using each line as an episode. And so I really want to show you how I organize these things right here because this is kind of how I think about it. So what happens is, is once I have the primary keyword that I definitely want to use, let's just say Airtable for beginners, right? I am going to create a record here and then I'm going to give it the episode name say when I want, want to really release it and then I'm going to work on the final title this is literally how I work through my content so after I have the keyword I go ahead and figure out what is going to be the, the final title that I want right and so and so I ha so I do a lot of keyword research. I do a lot of um, work inside TubeBuddy or VidIQ to get the really good title. I have a training on how to do that in the Ready to Rank shop. It's called the YouTube SEO um, training. It's a 50 minute training. Go ahead, ahead and get that if you're interested. But I do all that in here, right? So, and then I put that here, bam, that's perfect. I li like label the score right and then link the primary keyword that I want to rank for just so that it shows inside that other tab it's really really great and then I can also put in the primary keyword salt like search volume right and actually this populates with this actually so um, don't even, even worry about that and then I also know the competition so how many videos are already in that search results because this tell this helps me make a mental note of how many videos am I competing with really Okay, and then I able, am able to make a status out of it. I'm able to then think about, okay, what is gonna be the thumbnail text that I wanna put up on the thumbnail? I put th that here. And then I start thinking about the tags. So I talk about the tags inside the YouTube SEO training too, but this is gonna be where I put it in, right? And then I even make sure that they don't exceed the 500 character mark. I also make the video description here, right? I make sure that my call to action is here. And then I also write out my entire script here. This makes it so much easier because I used to just have a Google Doc with just my script inside Google Drive somewhere and it made it so much harder for me because I had one, I had to find it, I had to pull it up. Now all I have to do is just pull up Airtable and just go to the episode and then now just read the script, right? It makes it so much easier. And then I have the little scripting temp template here. I also ha I have like the link to the Google Drive folder so that I can easily access it or someone on my team can easily access it for like the final um, files or, or the raw files, whatever they may need. When the video goes live, I put it here. And then the link to the analytics, I go ahead and put the analytics link for that here as well. And the also the, um, the thumbnail, just so that it makes a nice picture whenever we um, go to these other um, views here, right? And so this is like really, really important because this is how I am planning all of the content inside of Airtable. 
and Airtable makes it super, super easy for me to not feel overwhelmed. Let's just say that this is like a little bit too much for you, right? I have it grouped by a status, uh, status updates, right? So this makes it a little bit more easier. So if I, so if these things are in the brainstorm phase, I just see it right here and then I can work on those. If I'm currently in the planning phase, like maybe I'm still writing, like writing the scripts for them. Maybe I'm still doing the keyword research. I put it all here so that I know exactly what I'm working on in the moment. So you don't have to always see it in the main view. Right. And then the things that are filming, like the things that I am scheduled to film. So every Wednesday I make an effort to film my YouTube videos. So I go to the filming section and then I pull up the thing that I need so that I can go ahead and read off of the script. It makes it so much easier. And then whenever I pass it on to the editor, I know that these videos are, are in the process of, um, of being edited. And then when things need to be scheduled, my assistant, all she has to do is just go to copy and paste all of the stuff that we just did inside of Airtable to the actual YouTube video and upload it and schedule it into YouTube. Okay, and then and then when it's time for promotion, we know that we have to go ahead and make the emails, go ahead and make the social posts, all that good stuff. Okay, you can even see videos that that that, um, that are grouped by the keyword, right? So you're able to see that too. This is this just kind of makes it very very easy to see any type of videos that are like grouped in together. So I like to use this one as well, but I really really live in group by status or main view. Now this like Trello or like I always mess up this word Kanban. <laughs> whatever oh um, you know what i'm saying like this whole view that like originated people loved it because of like trello or whatever right so i can even see the phases in here and it makes it so much easier less overwhelming and i'm not stressed out trying to figure out like where something is i know where something is right i can easily just search for it and that's what I love about Airtable. So like I'm telling you, and then we have a little gallery view if you want to show things through there. Now, whenever it comes to like planning too, I like to also plan out my call to actions because sometimes it gets very, very weird <laughs> whenever you're trying to figure out like, like, okay, what am I selling in this video? Or like, what am I trying to put people to? And so it's really nice to just have your call to actions in one place, right? So. For example, you have the link to your call to action to like your lead magnet or the offer that you're going to be talking about. And then any verbiage that you want to, I want to use. Like sometimes I like to say things maybe three different ways, right? Just so I can add a little bit of like variety in like my um, call to actions, right? And so I put them in here so that whenever it's time for me to talk about, about them, I know that this is what I need to say, right? I don't need to go rambling. I don't need to go um, go on a tangent. I need to say this thing at this time, right? So that it kind of takes out any guesswork whenever you're just kind of on the go and filming. So I, I hope that this was, was helpful. Let's go ahead back to the actual video and we'll um, <laughs> talk, talk a little bit more. So that is how I organize everything inside Airtable. As you can see, it's so much easier. I don't have to really like reach for anything else. I'm like, yes, we still use a Google Drive, but it's not as overbearing or overwhelming as how it was before. And so I really hope that you enjoyed this. Like, let me know in the comments down below if this really did help you, if you really did see value in how I organize my own YouTube videos and how I plan. Now, like I said before, if this really, really hit home for you, if this was um, very valuable to you, then I definitely want you to, to consider getting the YouTube Management Hub template and training inside the Ready to Rank shop. The link to that is gonna be in the description down below. And if you like this video, please let me know by subscribing to this channel, giving this video a like, and letting me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be getting the YouTube Management Hub. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.